With the coronation coming up, here are the top five brands that King Charles loves using that I think you should know about. Number one, Anderson and Shepherd. His tailors for many decades now, Anderson and Shepherd are perhaps the most intrinsic element of the reason he is regarded as an international style icon. They opened their doors in 1906 and have dressed Fred Astaire, George Hamilton, Fran Leibovitz, Jude Law and a whole host of the very best proponents of classic style. As masters of unstructured tailoring, they create a look that is a step away from the more militaristic silhouette that British tailoring is best known for, with much less padding and softer angles, specifically on the shoulder, to give a more natural look. Number two is Gaziano and Girling. Much is made of His Majesty's wearing of his trusty old John Lobbs, but of late he has been turning to Gaziano and Girling for all of his formal footwear needs. Tony Gaziano and Dean Girling opened up their eponymous shop on Savile Row in April 2014, having founded the brand in 2006. Their silhouette is slender and refined, and Tony's design genius has pushed so many boundaries of shoemaking, all of which they do in their factory in Kettering in Northamptonshire, the home of British shoemaking. On a visit to the factory in 2019, the then Prince of Wales was clearly very impressed by the craftsmanship and was presented with a pair of the brand's St James's Two Adelaides with the Prince of Wales's crest, the three ostrich feathers, as a medallion on the toe cap. He was clearly sold on them and has been ordering shoes from them ever since. Number three is Turnbull and Asser. Turnbull and Asser are one of the great British sartorial institutions. Established in 1889, they have made shirts for everyone from Churchill to Connery and, of course, Charles. Like Anderson and Shepherd, Turnbull are royal warrant holders, though the actual name on the warrant itself is the quite wonderful Stephen Quinn, who has held the warrant since 1999. I happen to be wearing a shirt he made for me in this video. Turnbull's shirts have an older fashioned silhouette, with a focus more on drape and comfort than slim fit shirting, which you see all too often these days. German Street is home to most of the great shirt makers in London, and Turnbull are quite rightly viewed as the head boy in this particular group. Number four is Swain Aidenie Brig. Not a well known brand, or at least not as well known as they should be. Founded in 1750, Swain Aidenie Brig is an amalgam of many different craft specialties. Swain Aidney have a history in the production of fine leather goods. A subsidiary brand, Herbert Johnson, is the maker of the Indiana Jones hat. And then there is the Brig umbrella, which is the topic of conversation for this video. The simple umbrella has a wonderful history in the United Kingdom, which I may talk about at a later day. But the King will always be seen at smart occasions such as Ascot and Palace Garden parties, carrying his tightly furled umbrella. And number five is Lock & Co. My favourite image of the King is an intimate shot of him with his son and heir William, who released the image for Father's Day. The authenticity and irregularity of the image makes it special, but I couldn't help but notice that clasped in Charles's hand is a tweed cap with the bold label of Lock & Co. They are perhaps the world's most famous hatter, and a vast proportion of the top hats at places like Ascot will be from them. Their extraordinary Georgian shop on St James's Street, which opened in 1765, sells a whole host of hats and has been worn by many illustrious historical figures, from Admiral Nelson's bicorn worn at the Battle of Trafalgar to Anthony Eden's famous Homburg and John Steed's iconic bowler hat in The Avengers.